asking the real question here what's in the box well let's have a look it is the mtg a metal twisted g-shock watch that came in the reference number of gc-2000-1 some of these barcode has been turned off but i'll add in the uh, overlay so you guys can see the reference number the price and the year as well which is in the year 1999 and this is how the watch looks like right now I bought the one in used condition and the main reason why I do it is because it has this MTG name on it and because of this weird box just out of curiosity I just want to see what uh, the first was all with this box I gotta say the box looks incredibly good but the watch not so much probably on the 90s it looks good but for today's standard I don't think so but I could understand why someone would still go with this watch because it is incredibly simple though Okay, let me put this thing over here. This is the extra links, and this will be the band tag. Shock resistant, magnetic resistance, water resistant, and MTG metal twisted G shock. Here you go. Play around with that. This one as well. Okay, well, the watch is incredibly simple for the function, but the construction I gotta say is really complex. Again, this watch was released in the year 1999, making it already two decades old, and Surprisingly, it is still working most of the time from my own experience if you purchase a analog G-Shock watch Usually uh, Sorry not working so hard to find a full working analog G-Shock watch from that uh, from the 90s today But in this case it is still working fine except the bezel started beginning to disintegrate I do have a couple more G-Shock watch that is still uh, look kind of like this which I share in the future but right now, uh, where's the problem? Let me show you guys here this. The crown guard has already disintegrated and well, I cannot save that anymore. On one side only, this part looks pretty good. I mean, if I press it, it feels pretty solid, but there you go, sorry, crack and destroy. The main design idea behind this MTG model is that Calcio want to experiment, I guess, on a singular build where the watch band is connected together with the watch bezel making it a singular tough construction the watch band starts with metal and then slowly it transitions between metal and resin with these two connectors over here and then all the way to the adapter which is fully made in resin and the adapter will lock the watch uh, band over here with a spring bar and another spring bar to lock it with this resin part over here okay this resin part on strong and this resin part is the part that is holding this metal bezel on top and this resin at the center this four screw on each corner of the watch bezel are just for aesthetics this, this thing didn't, didn't serve anything it's just for aesthetics and i gotta say it looks pretty interesting because of that angle that they used to plug in that screw hey it's just very very nice we have protection over here g-shock over here and overall it looks good the idea is great but over the years this part will get weaker and weaker and you guys know that this is the most important part of the watch if anything were to break usually this part is gonna break first because it receives a lot of stress as you are wearing it throughout the day on your wrist so making the watch very very fragile to be worn today unless you have a spare parts running around which i doubt There we go, we have Casio 1799 uh, module, GC-2000 stainless steel, back Japan Y water resistant to 20 bar and shock absorbing structure, a fully made in Japan G-Shock watch shock absorbing structure, and if you look at the front, you'll know that it is water resistant to 20 bar and anti-magnetic structure. And they add a graph over here, this is called the shock absorbing curve. Hold on, let me try to rotate the crown and move the hands out of the way. The crown is screwed down and I'm gonna need to pull it out. Alright, that should do it. Okay, as you can see, the curve goes down and up and all down. You can see this curve uh, being used or being printed out on the face plate of most G Shock vintage models, but in this case, the MTG GC2000. There are several variations of the watch, even though they came in same reference number but the placement of the graph are different from one another and the colorway is different as well and I believe that is also the reason why Casio used resin mixed in the making of the watch so that they could color the watch into blue or other colorway that they want 
But yeah, as I already said, sounds good, doesn't work. Everything is matte finish, the material is stainless steel, although it looks like titanium. It is just stainless steel and seems like it have China sign, probably made in China. But the feels of it is really really incredible. The size is around 45 uh, at the uh, dimension over here, including the weight. Uh, depending on how much links that you use, I mean the weight will differ. In this case, roughly 100 grams, which is great. The watch looks small, but it's pretty big, but I gotta say, it's pretty good. It's pretty straightforward. If you don't want any function like this one, like this thing has a lot of function. This thing has nothing. Just tell time. Straightforward. That's it. If you don't want any one of those fancy feature, get this one. Good to go. Full analog model. Nothing else. I mean, obviously they have background thing like the anti-magnetic loom and shock absorbing structure. I believe this is one of the toughest watch that you can get out there at a really affordable price assuming it is not uh, disintegrated yet okay let me know what do you think about these MTG models do any one of you guys own one I don't know comment down below and share your experience with everyone thank you very much for watching this is GHF and I'm